King's Journal, 12th day of September, in the year of our Lord, 1451. It has now been five weeks since I first left King's Manor. Being away for so long has been more difficult than I anticipated, but I have been able to spend much time in the scriptures. This has been a great comfort to me in my despair over the foolishness of my sons. Psalms 112.1 says, Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who finds great delight in his commands. His children will be mighty in the land. This is my earnest prayer, Lord. Oh, good morning, Richard. But where is your brother? I don't know. Oh. Oh, there he is. I'm here. Oh, Robert, come and eat your breakfast. And how did the princess sleep last night? You probably <laughs> got cold, didn't you? Not me. I slept fine. Wait, Robert? Why are you not eating? Are you feeling sick? Not sick. Oh, I know what you need. Is this what you're looking for? Aww. Where did you find him? It's Booby Bear. In the courtyard where you left him. Honestly, boys, I'm tired of picking up after you two. Now eat your cereal before it gets cold. You big baby. I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. Does not. Does, too. Does not. Does too. Does not. Boys, stop it. Does too. Robert, oh, both of you, you're giving me a headache. Now stop, both of you. I still think you're great. Oh no, she's. Hey, what's that? Oh, this. A young man came to the castle door a while ago, handed me this box, and then just took off. Huh, that's it? Sure. Sounds like there's something inside. Hey, uh, you have that package I gave you this morning? Yes, please come in. Richard, Robert, you know, the young man that came to the door earlier, well, he's, he's here. What's up? Greetings. Salutations. Okay, um, what's this place called, anyway? Mm. <clears throat> Uh, King's Manor. Oh, okay. Well, my bad, guys. My GPS was kind of messed up this morning. I'm going to need that package back. Yeah, sorry. And for your troubles, here's a 10% off coupon. You know, you can go to our website, type in the code. Be good to go, right? Okay. Nice costumes. Got that medieval thing going on. Okay. Oh, I, I gotta go, guys. Uh, I'll find my own way out. Later, dudes. Don't ask me what that was about. And what's a dude, anyway? I don't know. Wait. Mm. You're done. You're done. Hey, Rich. 
We've got to get us some of those. I know, right? I wonder where he got us. Hey, let's go find out. Who could that be? It's probably that pesky delivery man again. May I help you? Is this the castle of King Christopher the Great? Yes, it is. And who might you be? I am Linda, Queen of the Paganites. Oh, we have traveled many days to see the king. Oh, what I heard in my own country about his wisdom and accomplishments. It was so remarkable that I had to see for myself whether it was true or not. That is why I have come. My lady, I have never heard of your country. Oh, but of course you haven't. We are such a small people and so very far away. Are you surprised that your king's fame has spread such a great distance? Well, no, King Christopher is a great oh, king, but my lady, you can imagine our relief at having finally arrived at such a fair place after so long and difficult a journey. <sighs> We are very tired. May we please come in? Well, I'll, I'll have to ask the princes. No, but of course, you must be cautious. We'll wait right here until you come back. Well, see that you do. What if they don't let us in, my queen? What will we do then? <sighs> do not worry, my dear Gwendolyn. The matron of the castle, she might be overly cautious, but I have heard that the princes are quite naive. Ugh, they are certainly no match for someone as cunning as I. <laughs> no, we will have no trouble with them. Just you watch. Give me that. Hey, give it back. Mm. No, it goes in the castle. Do you see what I mean? You're kidding. These are the princes? Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, welcome to King's Manor. And uh, which one of you is Veranda, Queen of the um, uh, Cabinets? I am Linda, queen of the Paganites. Ah, I'm sorry. And which one of you is King Christopher the Great? Oh, I've heard so much about King's Manor and your highness that I had to see for myself your wisdom and grandeur. Uh, no, 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 no. We're just princes. I I'm Richard, and this is Robert. Yeah, oh. King Christopher's our father, but uh, he's not here right now. No. Oh, that's all right. We'll just wait for him. No, you see, he's 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 on vacation, and uh, we don't we don't know when he's coming back. It oh. could be a while. Oh, oh, my dear Gwendolyn! Oh, it appears that we may have traveled all this way for nothing. Oh yes, my queen. Oh, what a heartbreaking disappointment! Uh, uh, oh, but. I I'm sure we can answer all of your questions. Yes, please, oh. come in. Feel free to stay as long as you like. Yeah. Oh, your majesties, you are too kind. <laughs> wow, this place is actually big. My, my, this is a grand place. Yes, this castle was built by my grandfather, King Addison the Brave. They say that this was his favorite room. Why, yes, it was. Wait, what did you say? Uh, oh, well, uh, uh, what uh, she uh, meant to say was that, well, she could 
Uh, imagine that this was his favorite food. Isn't that what you meant? Oh, yes, of course. Um, I mean, who wouldn't like it? it it's, it's a beautiful room. <sighs> Was your father an only child? No, he had a, uh, a stepsister named Marinda. Marinda but uh, we don't like to talk about her. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, she, she, she was bad. Bad? How so? Well, they say that she wasn't very happy when our father, King Christopher, inherited the throne instead of her. In fact, she was so angry um, that she became evil and had to be banished from the kingdom forever. Banished forever? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My lord, Sir... Sir Gavin is here. Oh, uh, well, thanks, Ida. Uh, you can let him in. My lady, who is this... Uh... Sir Gavin. Oh, he's, he's our father's most trusted knight. He comes to the castle every day and trains us in the ways of knighthood. Oh. Well then, well, we really don't want to interfere with anything. You go right ahead with your plans. Um, uh, Gwendolyn and I will just look around a bit. If that's all right with you, of course. Oh, sure. Uh, whatever makes you comfortable. Oh, and I was thinking, you really needn't mention anything about us to Sir Gavin. I'm, I'm sure that we'll meet him soon enough. All right, if that's what you want. Hmm. Yes, I do think that would be best. Sires, Sires, I don't like her. There is trouble brewing. Trouble with a capital T. Really? I think it's kind of cool that a queen from a faraway land can see us. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I don't know. I, I, I don't... Oh. Good morning, boys. I mean, sires. Hey, Gavin. <laughs> what do you call a warrior who's lost his voice? I don't know. <laughs> Silent night. <laughs> you get it? Because can't talk. He's, he's silent. Dude, dude, no one thinks that joke is funny. Really? Sires, I need you to listen. This is important. Did your father ever speak to you about his stepsister? You mean Miranda? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. Well, she's now known as the evil queen Miranda, and it's possible she may be coming this way. Someone reported seeing her near Rainbow Bridge. Yeah, but she wouldn't come here, would she? I mean... She's banished from King's Manor. And, like, the entire kingdom. Yeah. I don't know, but she's certainly bold enough to try. Hmm. Well, if she does come here, I guess we could just, uh... Oh, we could stick flame on her. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. We'll just toss her in the dragon chamber. Oh, right. The reason I'm telling you this is so you'll keep watch. In the battle between good and evil, it's not always clear at first who's on your side. So we have to be careful, stay prepared, and stand strong for the truth. Hmm. Well, you don't have to worry about us. There is no way that the evil Queen Mirinda is getting in here. Isn't that right, Robbie? That's right. Not a chance. I hope you're right, because if she was ever allowed to get control of this place, well, let's just say it wouldn't be pretty. Oh. Hey, Rich. Let's go practice our sword fighting. You took the words right out of my mouth. Come on, let's go. <coughs> oh. We're supposed to go this way, not that way. Oh. Come on. Swords are over here. Sometimes I wonder if they'll ever grow up. <laughs>